Lift your hand to Jesus wherever you are. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we exalt you in this place.
One more time, sing.
Everybody lift your voice and Lord, come on. Lord, you are awesome.
before the Lord's table, his glory, his power, his favor is coming down on you. Why don't you lift your voice and celebrate the King of Kings? Celebrate the Lord of Lords. Lift your voice and give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Tonight, we want to stand in a place of prayer and read Psalms 139 verse 23. It says that search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties. That's the A part. Tonight, as you come before the Lord's table, you want to commit your life to God and ask him to search your heart and forgive you of your sins. Every sin, every secret sin, every, every sin you are, you are aware of. You want to ask God for forgiveness. And you want to also pray that you will receive strength to overcome your anxieties and every weakness. Lift your voice and pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for the grace, O oh God. Father, even to come before your table tonight, we ask, O oh God, that Father, may you be exalted as we come to dine with you tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh God, committing our lives to you, we pray in the name of Jesus, asking that may you search our hearts, O oh God. Father, try us, O oh God. Reveal every secret sin, O oh God. Every sin, O oh God, that besets us. Father, reveal it to us tonight and forgive us. We pray in the name of Jesus that may you cleanse us from every unrighteousness. And Father, as we come before your table, we receive strength. Father, strength to overcome every anxiety. Strength to overcome every weakness. Strength to overcome every pain. Strength to overcome every shame. Strength to overcome everything, O oh God, that holds us down in the name of Jesus. We declare, oh God, that we receive strength in the mighty name of Jesus. So we give you all the praise and we give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Church Bible says that the blood of Christ, the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. It speaks better things than the blood of bulls and animals. So tonight you want to pray that by the blood of Christ there will be a covering around your household. You also, you also want to plead that, declare that by the blood of Jesus, you are preserved from every negative family cycle and occurrences. Lift your voice and pray. You want to declare, oh God, that you are free from every cycle in your family, every, every generational cycle. You want to declare, oh God, that by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Christ, you are set free from it in the name of Jesus. Every negative family occurrence, every negative family cycle, every generational curse that seems to linger in your family, that moves on from one generation to another. You want to come against it in the name of Jesus. You want to declare that the blood of Christ preserves you against it by the power of the Holy Spirit. You want to plead the blood as a covering over your household tonight. You want to plead the blood as a covering over your family tonight in the name of Jesus. You want to declare that as you come to partake of the Lord's table, uh, you are preserved in the name of Jesus. Your family is preserved in the name of Jesus. Everything that concerns you is preserved in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 
89 verse 34 says that I will not dishonor my covenant because I will not change what I have spoken. Everything God has spoken will not be changed concerning your life. It will not be changed in the name of Jesus. The Lord says he will not dis dishonor what he has spoken. So tonight, as we come before the Lord's table, you want to claim every promise of healing, of deliverance, of good health, of long life, and of eternal life through Christ. In the name of Jesus, you want to lift your voice and pray tonight. That every promise of God, every promise of healing, every promise of deliverance, every promise of good health, every promise of fruitfulness, every promise of productivity, every promise of abundance, every promise of God's grace abounding towards you. You want to declare that as you come before the Lord's table tonight, you release that promise into your life in the name of Jesus. You want to declare that as his word says that he will not dishonor his covenant, tonight he will fulfill his covenant in your life. He will fulfill his covenant in your family. He will fulfill his covenant concerning everything that pertains to your health. In the name of Jesus, you want to lift your voice and declare that by the blood of Christ you are delivered. By the blood of Jesus you are healed. You plead the blood of Jesus over your family and declare, oh God, that every promise, every good and perfect gift that God has promised concerning your family, it comes upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. So you want to lift your voice up and celebrate the King of Kings up and celebrate the Lord of Lords for the victory we have in the blood. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. As we come before the, lab, the Lord's table tonight, one of the greatest, greatest gifts that God has given us was sending his only son Christ to die on the cross. Tonight, with the strength and the power you do, you want to join endless praise as we sing the hymn, And Can It Be?
My chains fell off. My heart was free. I rose, went forth, and followed him. If that is your story tonight, why don't you put your hands together for the Lord? If the chains are falling off from your life and your heart is free and you are following the Lord with all your heart, give him a wonderful round of applause and a sound of praise in the house. Hallelujah. Kindly be seated in God's presence. What a mighty God we serve. Tonight, on behalf of Dr. and Mrs. Utable, I welcome you to our communion service for the month of October as we draw to the close of the 10th month in our year of wisdom. God has been good. God has been gracious. And we are supremely confident that by the time this year comes to a close in 64 days' time, every single promise of God concerning your life, it shall come to pass without fail. If you believe it, put your hands together for the Lord. Tonight, Dr. and Mrs. Utable have delegated one of us, a man of great passion and intensity of spirit, to bring us the word of God and to lead us into communion. And one thing I've come to know and appreciate is that any time he leads us in communion in, at the Lord's table, the Lord confirms his word with miracles, signs, and wonders. And tonight, I believe with all my heart that somebody will be lifted up to another level. And so right after the song ministry, let's receive the ministry of the Reverend Riches Osei Bonsu. Let's put our hands together and appreciate his life. But before that, bringing as the song Holy Spirit, let's welcome the seraphs. Fill the 
One more time, I appreciate Seraphs. <laughs> Hallelujah. We thank God for giving us the gift of life and the opportunity to come before him and celebrate the Lord's table. And church, tonight, I want to acknowledge the great leadership that we have over the years. It's a leadership throughout the years that has been consistent in integrity, in passion for the Lord's work, and in excellence. And I want you to join me tonight as we celebrate the life of Dr. and Mrs. Otabel as the great leadership over our lives who have provided us with direction and instruction in God's word. Hallelujah. And tonight is an awesome responsibility to stand before God's people and lead the people of God to celebrate a great institution established by the Lord Jesus Christ, even communion. And I trust that the Lord will deposit something in your life and touch your life and create a turnaround. Hallelujah. Anytime we come to celebrate communion, it is a time that we are celebrating miracles in our lives. Communion itself is a miracle in itself. And uh, Jesus made mention in the establishment of communion in Matthew chapter 26 from verse 26 to 28. The Bible says, And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, Take eat. This is my body. 27. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them saying, drink from it all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. As I said, communion is a miracle in itself. And Jesus, by instituting communion, gave us the, all the indication that there is a miracle in his body, which is broken, and there is a miracle in the blood, which is shed for many. And you know, as you just consider the elements used in celebrating communion, is elements that are for common usage, daily common usage, elements that have no special thing around it, but that is what is used to establish miracles. God, in the book of Exodus, used a roasted lamp and unleavened bread, which are the common daily usage to celebrate the Passover, which ended up in a miracle. And so as the people ate the roasted lamb, which they were very familiar with, because when they got to the wilderness and they were not getting the roasted lamb, they cried and said, we had meat to eat in abundance. And so it was something that was common, a common usage. The people were using the unleavened bread. They were eating the roasted lamb daily in their lives. But as God took it and used these elements, the Bible says there was a miracle after that. Jesus also used ordinary unleavened bread, which has a common daily usage, and also a grape wine, which has a common daily usage. And as such, he instituted a sacred ordinance called communion out of which there is a miracle. And for us Christians, we also use the non-alcoholic wine, 
which represents the blood of Jesus. And we use the wafer, which represents the body of Christ, made up out of wheat flour, grain. All these are for daily common usage. We know it, we use it daily in our lives. However, according to the scripture, it contains awesome miracles. So when we take the wafer, the body of Christ, and we take the wine, the blood of Jesus, it contains miracles. There are numerous miracles that we can get out of the body of Christ and the blood of Jesus. No wonder there have been so many songs composed especially about the blood of Jesus, so many. Oh, the blood of Jesus by an anonymous composer. You have Jesus, the blood, thy blood, thy precious blood by F. N. Han. Eliza Hoffman in 1878 composed Are You Washed in the Blood? Robert Lowley, a Baptist literature professor, also composed nothing but the blood of Jesus. You have Lewis Edgar Jones, who also composed Power in the Blood. And we can go on and on and on. It shows us that indeed, there is some kind of miracle in the blood of Jesus and in the body of Christ as we celebrate communion. Sometimes it becomes a little bit difficult for us to easily accept that communion represents miracle. But let me just use this simple analogy. When you go to the chemistry lab and they take a glass of water or a cup of water, now they tell us that it contains, it's a colorless liquid substance which contains mineral chemicals. Mainly hydrogen and oxygen. That's what they tell us. But how many of us can pick out hydrogen and oxygen from this cup of water? But we believe it. Is that not so? It contains hydrogen. It contains oxygen. Alongside other minerals. And we believe it wholly. Tonight, I want you to wholeheartedly believe that when you pick the cup of the blood of Jesus and you pick the body of Christ it also contains some miracles it contains it God in his chemistry lab has established that report in the Bible the chemistry report is established in chemistry books and so we pick them and we read and we believe it God also has established out of his chemistry lab what is the mineral components of the blood and of the body of Jesus. So when you pick the cup tonight, in the blood of Jesus is a chemical composition that is able to deal with your sin. It is in it. You can't see it you can't separate it. You can't take it out, but it is in it. The same way you believe oxygen is in the cup of water, the same way you believe there is a composition, mineral composition, divine composition that is able to deal with your sin. So for every sin, the blood provides sanctification for your life. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse 12, the Bible says, Therefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered outside the gate. Jesus has suffered for your sins. If you pick the blood, if you pick the cup, in the cup, you have that which takes care of your sins. And so your sins can be washed by the blood of Jesus. Your sins have been taken care of by the blood of Jesus. As you partake of the blood of Jesus, 
you are taking in that which has the power to overcome sin in your life. And that is why you are not called a sinner, but you are called a saint before God. Because of the blood of Jesus. The mineral feature and composition in the blood of Jesus is able to deal with your sin. As you take the same cup, the same blood, another mineral composition is forgiveness. Not only will you be sanctified, but you also be forgiven. You know, sometimes people do things against us. We have cleaned the sin, but we can't forgive. So it is one being, for, being cleansed and another being forgiven. As you take the cup tonight, I want you to know that there is no guilt against you before God because the blood of Jesus has forgiven you of every sin that you have committed and erased the guilt. In fact, in God's eyes, there is no scar on your life because the guilt is taken away. And in Colossians chapter 1, verse 14, the Bible says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. The guilt is taken away. So don't crucify yourself. Sometimes we, we, we are pulled back by the sins that we have committed because the guilt is still in our minds. But God is saying as you partake of the blood of Jesus, you must know that there is a component in the blood which is called forgiveness. And so that guilt has been erased so you can move on in life without carrying any excess baggage called guilt. In the same cup, you can also find life to take care of death. You can find life in Leviticus 17, 11, the Bible says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you upon the altar to make atonement for your sins. For it is the blood that makes atonement for the soul. So life is in the blood. As you take the cup of the blood of Jesus, you can also take for yourself life for death. And so as you partake of it, any threat of death on your life, it is taken care of. Any fear of death hanging on you, it is taken care of. You in fact receive life, so you will be able to live to fulfill the number of your days. Things that are dead receive life to blossom again. And I declare over your life tonight as you partake of the blood of Jesus, you are receiving life to quicken every dead situation in your life. Amen. Dead dreams will come alive. Amen. Dead desires will come alive. Amen. Dead things in your body, even if your body, there is an element, an organ in your body that is dead, tonight you can receive life. Amen. Because in that cup that you hold, which contains the blood of Jesus, there is a chemical composition which is able to deal with death. It is called life. It is called life. In that same cup, there is a composition, mineral composition, that provides for salvation. Out for, to take care of any condemnation against your life. In the condemnation, Romans chapter 5 verse 9, much more than having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. So any condemnation against your life, you have salvation to deal with it. And that is why you are delivered from any judgment of condemnation. That which hung on your life tonight, you are delivered. That which even, even moves through your family line, generational judgment that comes upon your family. Tonight, as you partake of the blood of Jesus, you receive that mineral composition to be able to overcome that judgment against you. 
Because there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. If you are in Christ Jesus, the blood of Jesus has an element that takes care of the judgment of condemnation. And so you are not condemned. Whilst you are in Christ, you are not condemned. Nothing should condemn you. Yes, the accuser of the brethren. The devil will come and condemn you and use your past to condemn you and use your, your conscience to condemn you. But I come to let you know, as you partake of the blood of Jesus, you lift up the cup. It is in the cup you have that which takes care of your condemnation and it is called salvation. No matter what condemnation that hangs on you, tonight as you partake of the blood of Jesus, you must know that of a certainty you have been delivered. You have been delivered. There is no condemnation. There is no condemnation to them that are in Christ because the blood of Jesus has taken care of our condemnation. Condemnation today. Condemnation in the future. Condemnation eternally. The blood of Jesus has secured not only your present, but dealt with the past, secured your present, and made sure that your future is also secured. And so there is no condemnation in your life. Men may condemn you, but the blood of Jesus has a mineral component. That brings you out of that condemnation. You are not condemned. In the eyes of God, you are not condemned. In the eyes of Jesus, you are not condemned. In the eyes of the Holy Spirit, you are not condemned. Men may condemn you. Maybe based on things you have done. But God has forgiven you. He has delivered you. There is salvation in the blood of Jesus. In that same blood of Jesus, according to the chemistry lab of God, there is reconciliation for separation. That which has taken you out of God's presence, by the blood, you are getting back to God. There is reconciliation for you in the presence of God. In Colossians chapter 1 verse 20, the Bible says, and by him, to reconcile all things to himself by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross, you have been reconciled by the blood of Jesus. So as you partake of the blood of Jesus, you are receiving reconciliation. Whatever that took you away from God, you are getting back to God. Whatever separated you from God, you are getting back to God. Sometimes human beings can separate themselves from you forever and will not want to have anything to do with you. But it is not so with God. As you partake of the blood of Jesus, he said, I have deposited a mineral component which is called reconciliation. The moment you partake of it, I, God, I cannot separate myself. Even when you want to separate yourself, the Bible says he will stretch his arm of love and pull you back to himself. You can never be separated from God. So at the workplace, God is with you. In the marketplace, he is with you. In the classroom, he is with you. Wherever you go, he is with you because you cannot separate yourself from God as you partake of communion. You cannot, and he will not separate himself. He will not separate himself. So he tells us that he will never leave us. He will not forsake us according to Hebrews 13, 5. He will not forsake you. He will not leave you. Because you have an element, a mineral composition called reconciliation in you. And as you partake of it, it is a magnet that attracts you and pull you back to God. Tonight, somebody is going back to God. Tonight, somebody will be reconciled back to God. It doesn't matter where you are, how far you have gone, there is a reconciliation for you in the presence of God. Because of the blood, we have bold access. Once you, are, you have been reconciled, you have bold access to go back to God because the relationship has been established again. Every barrier is removed. And tonight I declare as you partake of the communion, every barrier is removed. 
Every barrier that separates you from God and his presence is removed. Every barrier that prevents you to give you access to God is removed. Because by the blood of Jesus, there is reconciliation. You are tracing your steps back to God. You are tracing your steps back to God. You are tracing your steps back to God. Sometimes you feel that God has even abandoned you. You don't feel the presence of God with you. Sometimes you go through some challenges and you, 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 you think your prayer even doesn't go to God. Where is God? If I turn to the left, I'm not finding God. To the right, I'm not finding God. But tonight, I want you to know that as you partake of communion, the establishment of reconciliation has begun and God is always with, will be with you. And that is a miracle. You can't see it with your eyes in the blood of Jesus, but it is established. It is there. It is there. As you partake of the blood of Jesus, there is an element for protection. And so anything that wants to destroy you for every distraction, you have something to protect and to preserve you. In Exodus chapter 12 verse 13, he said, now the blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. Because of the blood, every plague designed to destroy you will pass over you. Because of the blood, every death arrow released against you will pass over you. Because of the blood, every weapon of destruction will fly over your roof, but it will not touch your life. Because of the blood, that which has been designed to crush you, it will only go above you, and it will not touch your life. Because as you partake of the blood, it is a sign for preservation and protection. The Lord will protect your household. He will protect that which belongs to you. He will protect your children. He will protect your marriage. He will protect everything that concerns you. Because of the blood. As you partake of the blood, you have to be assured that you have that element to protect you. As you partake of the blood, there is a component that makes you an overcomer for every defeat. For every defeat. The blood makes you an overcomer. In Revelations 12, 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to, de to the death. As you partake of communion tonight, I declare that you are an overcomer. In the battle of life, you are an overcomer. In the financial battle, you are an overcomer. In the marriage battle, you are an overcomer. In the educational battle, you are an overcomer. In the employment battle, you are an overcomer. You win over every challenge in your family. You are an overcomer in the workplace. In your community, you are an overcomer. By the blood of Jesus, no trouble will destroy your life. Because you are an overcomer. In your own strength, you will lose. In your own power, you will be defeated. In your own connections, it may not work. But the blood of Jesus will work for you. The blood of Jesus will fight for you. The blood of Jesus will win the battle for you. By the blood, we overcame. By the blood, you are an overcomer. They can meet, conspire against your life secretly. But by the blood, you will overcome them. By the blood, you will defeat them. You will defeat them. You will win your battle by the blood of Jesus. You are on top and not at the bottom. You are above and not beneath. By the blood, you win the battle. The body of Christ also brings us some chemical features 
that is able to help our lives. It's a miracle. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, who he himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. As you partake of the broken body of Jesus, you are receiving healing for your sicknesses. From the top of the head to the soles of your feet, every, every sickness, every disease, doctors may call it terminal disease, but tonight I declare over your body, as you receive the body of Christ, that chemical component called healing will rest upon that dead body. It will rest upon that dead cell. It will rest upon that dead organ. It will rest upon that dead situation in your body. Because you cannot partake of the body of Christ. That has a chemical component of healing. And not receive healing to your body. Your eyes cannot see it. You cannot touch it. But it is in it. Healing is in the body of Christ. Healing is in the body of Christ. For every infirmity in your body, you receive good health. Sometimes the sickness might not have been even diagnosed. And your body goes through uncomfortable situation. Where you are not sick, but you are sick. There's somebody who used to say, Minyare so mentiapo. And sometimes you feel that in your body. And for all you know, there is some infirmity cooking somewhere. But tonight, as you partake of communion, not will the known sickness be healed, but any infirmity cooking anywhere, it will take care of it and good, give you good health. Any disease trying to get roots in your body, it will take care of it and give you good health. Sometimes the disease... Before it comes out, it becomes, un you cannot cure it, incurable. Because we do not see it early. But as you partake of the blood of Jesus, that which you cannot see, that which medical instrument cannot pick out, the blood of Jesus and the body of Christ will deal with it. And you will receive your total healing. You receive your total healing. By the body of Christ. He said, take and eat. Because my body is broken for you. Jesus made this statement emphatically concerning his blood and his body. In John chapter 6, from verse 56. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me. That's reconciliation. And I in him, as the living father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so he who feeds on me will live because of me. You will live because of Jesus. You will live to fulfill the number of your age because of Jesus. You will live to accomplish your task because of Jesus. You will live to win all your battles because of Jesus. You will live to be in good health because of Jesus. You will live to become victorious because of Jesus. You will live to be connected to God because of Jesus. You will live and to live a life full not of guilt because of Jesus. You will live a life of forgiveness because of Jesus. You will live a life not of condemnation because of Jesus. Men may condemn you but because of Jesus you are accepted. Men may want to destroy you, but because of Jesus, you are fulfilled. Men may want to take away from you, but because of Jesus, you will receive it. Men may wish that you are dead, but because of Jesus, you will receive life. No sickness, no infirmity will destroy you because you have Jesus in you. And tonight, I want you to have that at the back of your mind. Communion is a miracle. As you partake of the body of Christ, you are receiving that miracle. Your eyes cannot see it. The same way your eyes cannot see the oxygen and the hydrogen in the water. The same way your eyes cannot see 
the healing in the body of Christ. Your eyes cannot see the salvation in the blood. Your eyes cannot see the forgiveness in the blood. Your eyes cannot see the protection in the blood. But God has established it. Your eyes cannot see the reconciliation. Your eyes cannot see the victory in the blood. But God has established it. If you believe a human being to establish a principle that you, you practice and accept, how much more God who created that human being? He created the blood. He created the body. And he said in that body and in that blood, there are special mineral components, features that I have deposited in it. When you partake of it, you will live. You will not die. You will win. You will not be defeated. You will be reconciled. You will not be separated. Your sins will not be held against you as you partake of it. And tonight, I want you to be on your feet as we begin to pray. We begin to call certain things in our lives. As we partake of the blood of Jesus, as we partake of it, tonight you want to lift up your voice and you want to say, Lord, as I partake of the blood of Jesus, forgive me of every sin. Forgive me of every guilt. Take it away. Set me free. Let that miracle become my portion. Purge my life. Purge my conscience. Purge me from every sin. Just talk to God. Talk to him. As you partake of it, he will forgive you. Because the devil will accuse you that you are a sinner and nothing good can come out of you. But as you partake of it, God will forgive you. In the blood of Jesus, there is forgiveness of sins. No matter the quantum of the sin. No matter the level of the sin. God's, Jesus' blood is able to forgive you. In that blood, there is forgiveness. You are forgiven by the blood of Jesus. You are forgiven. You are cleansed by the blood of Jesus. You are washed by the blood of Jesus. You are clean before God. By the blood of Jesus, he has purged you. He has sanctified you. By the blood of Jesus, you are called the righteousness of God. By the blood of Jesus, you are sanctified. By the blood of Jesus, you stand before God as if you have not sinned before because you have been cleansed by the blood of Jesus a new door has been opened for you by the blood of Jesus a new sheet has been opened a new page a clean sheet by the blood of Jesus you are forgiven by the blood of Jesus you are forgiven you are forgiven by the blood of Jesus you are redeemed by the blood of Jesus there is no condemnation against you by the blood of Jesus you are forgiven by the blood of Jesus you have life by the blood of Jesus God holds nothing against you as you partake of the blood there is no sin as you partake of the blood there is no guilt as you partake of the blood you are forgiven you in the name of Jesus. God looks at you and sees that you are a saint. He sees that you are sanctified. He sees that you are cleansed. You are the righteousness of God. Your sins have been forgiven. He is the one who forgives our sins. He is the one who purges and cleanses us. You are forgiven. You are cleansed. In the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you glory. We thank you Lord. In that same blood there is life. Tonight, I want you to speak life to every dead situation in your life. It may be dead financial situation. Inject life by the blood. Anything that is dead in your life, which is unproductive, which is not bearing fruit, which is barren, which is dry. Tonight, you speak life. Lift your voice and begin to declare life. Life to every dead situation. In the name of Jesus, life, life, life. As you receive it, life to that dead marriage. Receive life, receive life to that dead relationship. Receive life. In the name of Jesus, receive life, receive life. Declare life to every dead situation. In the name of Jesus, receive life. There is life in the blood. Life in the blood. There is life in the blood. Against every dead situation, receive life. In the name of Jesus, declare life, declare life. In the name of the Lord, you receive life for every situation. Every dead organ, you receive life. In the name of Jesus, receive life tonight. Receive life, receive life tonight receive life tonight receive life tonight in the name of Jesus receive life every situation that looks dead receive life in the name of Jesus 
receive life receive life to every dead situation in the name of Jesus receive life to every dead situation life to every dead situation life to every dead connection life to every dead relationship in the name of Jesus declare life in the name of Jesus in the blood there is life in the blood there is life in the blood there is life to take care of every dead situation in the name of Jesus life in the blood receive it receive it receive life in the blood to take care of every dead situation receive life in the blood to take care of every dead situation receive life in the name of Jesus life for every dead situation every dead relationship receive life in the name of Jesus every dead dream receive life every dead vision receive life in the name of Jesus receive life receive life receive life you have abandoned that dream but tonight receive life you have abandoned that career but tonight receive life you have abandoned that project but tonight receive life every dead situation receive life dead financial situation we declare life dead financial situation we declare life receive life out of the blood in the name of Jesus receive life receive life receive life for every dead situation receive life in the name of Jesus for every dead situation receive life in the name of the Lord life in the blood life in the blood life to rise life to rise in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus life for that dead dream we receive life we declare life in the name of Jesus every dead business receive life in the name of the Lord declare life in the name of Jesus we thank you for life, O oh God. We give you praise for life. We thank you for life. Tonight you want to pray. As you partake of the blood. The miracle of protection. Your life is preserved. Your family is preserved. No evil shall befall you. It is because of the blood. He says, by the blood, when I see it, I will pass over you. Destruction will pass over your household. Evil will pass over your household. On the road, evil will pass over you. At work, evil will pass over you. And you want to declare that by the blood, your household is preserved. Begin to pray. Begin to declare. Begin to declare divine protection, divine preservation. By the blood, we are preserved. Every work of the enemy, it will pass over in the name of Jesus. Weapons of destruction, it will pass over. Angel of destruction, it will pass over. Every work of the evil, it will pass over. Demonic activities, it will pass over in the name of Jesus. The plans of ungodly men, it will pass over. Wicked intentions, it will pass over. In the name of the Lord, every intention of the enemy, we declare it will pass over. Arrows that will fly by day, that which will fly by night, it will pass over you. It will not touch your life. You are protected. You are preserved. The blood of Jesus becomes an insulation for your life. In the name of the Lord, it will pass over you. It will pass over you. It will pass over you. It will pass over your household. It will pass over your family. It will pass over your children. It will pass over your spouse. It will pass over. It will pass over every destruction. It will pass over against your finances. It will pass over against your investment. It will pass over in the name of Jesus. Every destruction. It will pass over every destruction. It will pass over. You are protected. You are preserved. You are protected. Insulated against destruction. You are protected against weapons of destruction. In the name of Jesus, you are protected by the blood. You are preserved. No evil shall befall you. No evil shall befall you. In the name of Jesus, 
by the blood, you are an overcomer. By the blood, you are protected. By the blood, you are preserved. By the blood, you are protected. In the name of Jesus, no incantation from the camp of the devil, no schemings from the camp of the enemy will succeed against you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, it will pass over you. It will pass over you. It will not touch your life. It will pass over you. It will not touch your life. It will pass over you. It will not touch your life. It will pass over you. It will not touch your life. It will pass over you. It will not touch your life. It will pass over you. It will not touch your life. In the name of Jesus, every weapon of destruction, it will pass over you. It is a miracle in the blood of Jesus. Protection is a miracle in the blood of Jesus. It is for you. It will pass over you. It will pass over you in the name of Jesus. Protection. It will pass over you. It is for you. It will be with you. No weapon will destroy you. At your workplace, you are protected. Everything concerning your life is preserved. By the blood, you are protected. By the blood, you are preserved. By the blood, you are protected. By the blood, you are protected. By the blood, you are protected in the name of Jesus. We declare protection over every member, every household. Divine protection, divine protection. The angels of God, the angels of God will be on assignment because of the blood. They will watch over you, watch over your family, watch over your household. By the blood, you are protected wherever you go in the name of Jesus. We declare protection. By the blood, we receive divine protection. Tonight, you want also to declare. I don't know what kind of battle that you are going through. But for every defeat, there is victory in the blood. You have already been declared overcomer. It is a mineral component in the blood. Before you were born, it is there. And tonight you want to claim it and say, Lord, by the blood I overcome. The battle that confronts me, I overcome. The devil may look stronger, but I come against the devil by the blood. The battle may look mightier, but I come against that battle by the blood. The situation may look frightening, but I come in the name of the blood. David said, you come against me with a sword, with a spear, and with a shield. But there is only one thing that I have. The name of the Lord who is the God of the armies of Israel. And by that I conquer you. Tonight you want to declare that by the blood you conquer. By the blood you win. By the blood you overcome. Lift your voice and begin to declare. By the blood you are an overcomer. By the blood you win that battle. By the blood you win that battle. You win the marriage battle. By the blood you win. You win that education battle. You win that employment battle. In the name of Jesus. That relationship battle. By the blood, by the blood. You are an overcomer. By the blood you win. Every battle. Financial battle. By the blood you are a winner. In the name of Jesus. Employment battle. By the blood you are a winner. In the name of Jesus. By the blood you are a winner. By the blood you are a winner. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. By the blood. By the blood you are an overcomer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. In every battle. In every battle that confronts you. By the blood. By the blood. By the blood. By the blood. By the blood, you overcome. By the blood, you overcome. By the blood, you win that battle. In the name of Jesus, by the blood, you win that battle. You win that battle. By the blood, you are an overcomer. By the blood, receive the miracle. The miracle of overcomer. Receive it, receive it. You overcome in the name of Jesus. By the blood, every battle, every battle, every battle is under your feet. By the blood, you overcome. 
You win that battle in the name of Jesus. Every trouble that stares at you, by the blood you win, you bring it down. By the blood your Goliath will come down. By the blood you win the battle. By the blood, by the blood, you overcome that trouble. By the blood, by the blood. By the blood you win that battle. By the blood you overcome. 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 In the name of Jesus. By the blood, by the blood. You win that battle. By the blood, by the blood. You win that battle. You overcome the salvation in your home that you want for a family member. By the blood, you snatch them from the camp of the devil. By the blood, you pull them out of the domain of the enemy. By the blood, by the blood. By the blood, by the blood. Salvation for your household. By the blood, by the blood. Redemption for your household. By the blood, by the blood. There is deliverance in your household. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Divine protection. You overcome. By the blood of Jesus, you overcome that battle. By the blood of Jesus, you win that battle. You win that battle. You win that battle. You win that battle. As you partake of the body of Christ, healing and good health is your portion. Sicknesses that have not been diagnosed. Diseases that come from the camp of the devil. That which is described as genetic disease. As you partake of the body of Christ, you receive the chemical component called healing over that sickness and that disease. And begin to declare divine healing for your body. Just put your hand on, your, on the top of your head and begin to declare healing. Begin to declare healing. In the name of Jesus, every part of your body, every organ, every organ, we speak healing to the brain. We speak healing to the brain. We speak healing to the head. We speak healing to the ears. We speak healing to the eyes. We speak healing, healing in the name of Jesus. We declare healing to the body, to every organ of the body. We speak healing to the heart. We speak healing to the lungs. We speak healing to the kidney in the name of Jesus. We speak healing to the liver in the name of Jesus. Every organ, every tissue, every fiber of the body, we declare healing in the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus. Sickness is in the blood. That which is in the marrow. That which is in the bone. That which is in the sinews. That which is in the veins. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. Healing in the neck. In the name of Jesus. Healing in the bones. In the name of Jesus. Healing in the womb. In the name of Jesus. We speak healing. We speak healing. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. We speak healing. Cancerous cells. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare healing. We declare healing. We declare healing. We declare healing by the body of Christ. We declare healing by the body of Christ. We declare healing by the body of Christ. We declare healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we are healed of every disease, of every sickness, of every infirmity. In the name of Jesus, terminal diseases, we declare healing. In the name of Jesus, terminal diseases, we declare healing. None shall die. We declare healing. We declare good health. By the body of Christ, we receive healing. By the body of Christ, we receive healing. By the body of Christ, we receive healing. In the name of Jesus. It is a miracle. Receive it now. It is a miracle. Receive it now. It is a miracle. Receive it now. By the body of Christ. Receive that miracle. The miracle of healing. The miracle of good health. The miracle of healing. The miracle of good health. The miracle of healing. The miracle of good health. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. The miracle of healing. The miracle of good health. Receive it for your body. In the name of Jesus, we speak healing. We speak healing. We declare healing. 
We declare healing. We declare healing. We declare healing. We declare healing. We declare healing. We declare healing. We speak healing to the body. We speak healing to the kidney. We speak healing to the kidney. We speak healing to the kidney. Every kidney that is sick, we speak healing in the name of Jesus. Every kidney that is sick, we speak healing in the name of Jesus. Every member of our church that has a kidney problem, we speak healing in the name of Jesus. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. Every member of our church that has liver problem, we speak healing in the name of Jesus. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. We speak healing in the name of Jesus. Every member of our church that has mental problem, we speak healing in the name of Jesus. By the body of Christ, because you have paid our conscience, and so we speak healing to the body. We speak healing to the brain. We speak healing to the mind. We speak healing to the body. In the name of Jesus. We speak to the body. Every sickness. Every infirmity. Every disease. Genetic diseases. We command you to live. In the name of Jesus. Generational diseases. We command you to live. In the name of Jesus. Generational cases. Cycles of infirmity. Diseases in the body. Asthma diseases. We command you to live. In the name of Jesus. We speak to the blood streams. Every blood infirmity. Every blood disease. Cancerous cells. In the bodies of people. We command you to live. We speak healing. By the body of Christ. We speak healing. We declare life to every dead cell. Every dead cell. Every dead cell. We release life. We release life. We release life. By the blood of Jesus. We release life. We release life. We release life. Every dead cell. We release life. Every dead organ. We release life. 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 We cancel every judgment hanging on the lives of people in this church, in our families. We cancel that judgment. It may be ancestral cases, it may be ancestral judgment, but tonight by the blood. Tonight by the blood, a new handwriting, a new handwriting, a new handwriting, a new handwriting. There is no condemnation. There is no condemnation. We cancel that in the name of Jesus. We cancel that judgment. You say, Pastor, it comes into my family. I see it, I see it. It happens, and I'm afraid it is coming. Tonight, there is a new handwriting. Tonight there is a new judgment. Tonight there is a new judgment. There is no condemnation to you. We speak in place of that. We declare life. We declare redemption. We declare de deliverance. In the name of Jesus. In place of trouble. We speak victory. We speak victory. We speak victory. We speak victory. We have victory in Christ. We are overcomers in Christ. We have victory in Christ. We have overcomers in Christ. We are overcomers in Christ. Every battle that confronts us, we speak victory. It may be mightier than us, but we speak victory. They may have connection than us, but we speak victory. Legal battles, we speak victory. Financial battles, we speak victory. Marriage battles. We speak victory. Litigations against us.
those conspiring in secret places, we speak our victory tonight. From this place, we declare victory. Because we are overcomers. In Christ Jesus, not by might, not by power, but a miracle in the blood. There is something in the blood that makes you an overcomer. By the blood, you overcome. By the blood, you win that battle. By the blood, you are victorious. You will never be defeated. You will never be defeated. You will never fail in life. In the name of Jesus, you are on top and not at the bottom. You are above and not beneath. You are the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, by the blood, by the blood, you are a winner. You overcome the devil himself by the blood. You say, Pastor, this one is the devil. That is even the good news. You overcome by the blood. You overcome by the blood. You overcome by the blood. You say it is principalities and powers. Thank God for principalities. By the blood, they are under your feet. They are under your feet. Principalities and powers. Spiritual wickedness in high places. By the blood, they are under your feet. Because they hear the name Jesus and they tremble. By the blood, every weapon that is released from the secret places, it will fly over your roof. It will not touch your life. They can conspire at night, meet to brainstorm, and think and plan evil. But he that sits in the heavens shall laugh. Because it will not come to pass. The blood will be your covering. 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 They are conspiring at your workplace. I hear that sound. They are conspiring at your workplace. But it will not come to pass. 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 For you to know that God has dealt with it, they will later come and ask you to forgive them. But tell them they are already forgiven. They are already forgiven. Because it was not your might. It was the miracle in the blood. And so if the blood has forgiven and the blood has fought the battle, you have also forgiven them. I am here to announce to you, by the blood you are an overcomer. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. At your workplace, don't be afraid. They are putting down lists names of people to be declared redundant but your name will be taken out 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 because by the blood the blood will speak for you the blood will speak for you the blood will speak for you promotion will come to 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 you when they plan evil to demote you, the blood will promote you. Like that gentleman who went for an interview. And after they have finished, the panel collated their results. And that gentleman was nowhere near the top. But whilst they were concluding to write the report, one person just made a casual, harmless statement. And said, if I had my wish, I would have bypassed all these people and give it to that person. And the moment he made that harmless statement, everybody on the panel unanimously agreed and said, I also, I also, I also, I also. And they bypassed those who think they qualify. Those who, those who have qualified per the human standard and they gave it to that guy. He reported to the office 
and the CEO who was part of the panel of experts walked to him and said, gentlemen, congratulations. And he said, you know what? I want to tell you this secret. You were not the one selected. But when we were writing the report, everybody felt we should give it to you. The blood will speak for 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 you. They may want to bypass you and do corner corner and use you as a scapegoat. But the blood will speak for you. The blood of Jesus. It will speak for you. It will speak for you. Like this lady who came to me with the husband. Just on Sunday. Showing a tummy. Ready to give birth. He said, Pastor, you've forgotten. I don't think you remember. We came to you a year ago. We prayed during communion. You ministered communion to us. You told us that we will conceive. We have been struggling with childbearing for years now. And as casual as you made the statement that you will conceive, he said, Pastor, here it is. We have decided to hide from you until it matures. And he said, the doctor said this week we should come because we are due. And we want you to pray for us. That will be your story. There is miracle in the blood. There is miracle in the body. As you partake of it, as you partake of it, as you partake of it, receive a miracle. Receive a miracle. Receive a miracle. If you partake of it as a casual thing and as a Christian ritual, nothing will happen to you. But tonight, I want you to shift to the place that you believe the same way you believe the chemical components of hydrogen and oxygen in the water. Believe there is a miracle. And as you partake of it, you receive the miracle in the name of Jesus. The Bible says the night on which Jesus was betrayed after supper, he lifted the bread. The bread and the wine. It was a common usage that they always use. It had no special thing about it. It was the same bread. In fact, Jesus demonstrated that it was something that is common. He did not take any special bread, but the same unliving bread they were using for the Passover. The Bible says he took one. He blessed it. We sanctify this element to God. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth out of which we have the grain to produce the wafer. We have the grapes to produce the wine. But as we set it apart tonight, it ceases to have a common usage. We use it to receive the miracle. We use it to receive the components you have declared that it contains. We use it to win our battles. We use it to receive victory. We use it to receive our healing. It is set apart for holy use. And as Jesus gave thanks, the Bible says he broke it. He gave to them and said, take and eat. For this is my body that is broken for you. It ceases to be a wafer. It becomes the body of Christ that contains the mineral components of healing for you. In the same manner also, he lifted a cup. And after giving thanks, he gave to them. And said, drink from it, all of you. For this is the blood in the new covenant in my blood. As often as you drink, you do show forth my death till I come. The blood of Jesus contains all the components you need to live a godly life and to live a fruitful life. It brings you healing. It brings you life. It brings you protection. They are all part of the components of the blood of Jesus. As you partake, you receive the miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. Kindly take your seats. The service will serve. And when you receive, hold on because we partake as a family together.
speak uh, to us briefly. Can you lift it up and say with me, Heavenly Father, I thank you for the broken body of Jesus Christ. I receive the body of Christ and I receive the miracle of healing to my body. I declare every organ, every tissue, every fiber of my body that is infirmed, I declare healing. By the body of Christ, I receive healing from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. By the body of Christ, I declare total healing and good health in Jesus' name. Amen. The body of Christ take says in the same manner he lifted the cup. Kindly lift up your cup and say with me in the name of Jesus I receive the blood of Jesus. Out of the blood I have sanctification for every sin. Out of the blood I receive forgiveness for every guilt out of the blood I receive life for every dead situation out of the blood I receive salvation for every condemnation out of the blood I receive reconciliation for every separation out of the blood I receive protection preservation of life for every destruction out of the blood I declare, I am an overcomer over every defeat, every battle I overcome. I win my battles because of the blood. I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner. I am a winner in every battle. I receive it in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus take and drink ye all of it. And Ramiti Asi
walk in this victory. We walk in these miracles. We declare that these miracles will be with us. These miracles will overtake us. These miracles will overshadow us. And so in this week, we walk in miracles. Between today and the next communion, we experience miracles. Miracles of healing. Miracles of life. Miracles of salvation. Miracles of protection. Miracles of life. We receive it, O oh God. Miracles of sanctification. We declare victory in our lives. In every battle, we declare we conquer and we win because of the miracles in the blood and the body of Christ. We thank you, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. We give you praise, Lord. Kindly be seated and prepare to give your offering as Zama ministers.
Theme, preparing for the future. Building your asset base. Building your finance base. Building your career base. Speaking Shadow, Tuesday, 5th November. Theme, building your asset base. There will be two seminars running concurrently. The foundational level meant for fresh graduates, new couples, 18 to 30 this November at Christ Temple. Life Improvement Seminars 2019. Theme, preparing for the future. Building your asset base. Building your finance base. Building your career base. Speaking Shadow, Tuesday, 5th November. Theme, building your asset base. There will be two seminars running concurrently. The foundational level meant for fresh graduates, new couples, 18 to 30 year olds. will have three topics. Topic 1. Financing options. Does personal savings, mortgage versus rent. Speaker, Mr. Kojo Adukufu, Executive Director, GHL Bank. Topic 2. Property selection. Recommendations for beginners. Speaker, Mr. Cecil Abbey, Principal Architect, Incept Limited. Topic 3. Cost savings strategies. How to build a cost-effective house in a month. Speaker, Mr. Felix Amegashichi, CEO, Bayet Valley Limited. The advanced level meant for 30 and above, as well as property owners will also have three topics. Topic 1. Securing your land, regularization and protection. Speaker, Dr. Enim Odami, National Development Planning Commission. Topic 2. Building your house, a guide from start to finish. Speaker, Nana Abema, Managing Architect, Act Zenos. Topic 3. Buying your house, what to look for in a real estate company. Speaker, Mr. Samuel Ewell, CEO Bonavista Homes. Special highlight, life improvement fair from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. every Tuesday in November. Showcasing housing, financing, and investment options with opportunities to sign up. This will be a game changer. Life improvement seminars every Tuesday in November. Reverend Osebonsu for that rich vein of ministry and may everything that has been declared in our lives be permanent in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank you for being a blessing to us. Kindly give me your attention for the following reminders. Next week, Tuesday is Life Improvement Seminar 1 2019. Let's put our hands together. This is one program you don't want to miss. It is the desire of the Lord that you occupy a portion of this earth and call it your property. So next week, Tuesday, we are dealing with building your asset base. And just to clarify that there will be two seminars running side by side. There will be the seminar for foundational level, that is those who are beginning, young couples, fresh graduates, those typically within the age bracket of 18 to 30, and we've been given the topics that will be treated in that seminar. And then there will also be the advanced level for those above 30 generally, or those who are property owners. Choose the one you prefer. Don't worry about your age. Choose the one you think fits you and attend. Just to inform us that at 3 p.m. next week, sun, next week Tuesday, there will be a fair out here where companies will set up for you to ask questions, interact with their staff, and possibly sign up to some very interesting options that are available. And the companies that will be exhibiting next week are GHL Bank that will deal with financing, Bayit Valley that will deal with um, home solutions um, that are cost effective, Noble Realty will deal with serviced plots, Buena Vista Homes will do with home solutions, manage housing with home solutions, and Axenos with architectural solutions. So next week, these six companies will be exhibiting during the live seminars. They'll start from three and run all the way through till after service. So please take notes and let's attend accordingly. Home call. The church wishes to announce the home call of Mr. Ernest Atiemo. Mr. Atiemo went to be with the Lord on Sunday, the 15th of September, 2019, at the 37 Military Hospital. He was a long-serving member of staff at Christ Temple Church Office. 
The funeral arrangements are as follows. The funeral service will be on Saturday, the 2nd of November, 2019, at the Joasu in the Ashanti region. It is at 8 a.m., and the interment shall be at the Presby Cemetery, also at Joasu. The entire church is asked to stand with the family as they celebrate the life of their departed loved one. We would also like wish to announce the home call of Mr. Eric Banfo. He went to be with the Lord on Thursday, the 26th of November, September 2019, at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. The funeral arrangements are as follows. The funeral service will be on Friday, the 8th of November 2019, here at Christ Temple at 8.30 a.m., followed by interment at the Achimota Cemetery. Let's stand with the families and pray with them as a celebrate the